Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 8th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has acquitted three men accused in the 2012 Chawla gang rape case who were sentenced to death by the Delhi High Court. The court while hearing the center's plea to modify order passed by the court on September 8, 2021, which prevented extension of tenure of Director of Enforcement Directorate Sanjay Kumar Mishra beyond November 16, 2021, has stated that center seeks review under the garb of miscellaneous application. The Supreme Court's e-committee has constituted a panel of 3 high court judges to prepare a framework for formulating neutral citations for citing decisions of the high courts as well as the Supreme Court. The court while upholding Andhra Pradesh High Court's order to strike down state government's decision to hike annual tuition fees for MBBS course in private unaided medical colleges has held that tuition fees must be affordable as imparting education is not a business to earn profit. News from the High Courts starting with the Karnataka High Court The Karnataka High Court has directed the Director General of the Police, the Director of Public Prosecution and High Court Registrar General to make arrangements for necessary training of their officers in respect of receiving, handling, storage and use of electronic evidence. The High Court has directed the Director General of Police to establish a task force to work out a methodology of sharing the existing digital records with courts and to consider digitization of all processes. News from other High Courts. The Delhi High Court has held that the Section 11 of Surface Act provides for remedy by arbitration only in cases of interse dispute between the financial institutions but does not cover a simple lender borrower dispute even if the borrower is a financial institution. The Kerala High Court has held that economic backwardness or possibility of social stigma cannot be a ground for transgressing the statutory prohibition prescribed by the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act and granting permission for medical termination of pregnancy. Of the commission A civil court in Bengaluru has directed Twitter to temporarily block accounts of Indian National Congress and Bharat Jodo Yatra after MRT Music accused the party of infringing its copyright by illegal use of KGF Chapter 2's music in videos uploaded by it on the microblogging platform. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.